Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today's project is for the Vicky Bootin design team and I'm very excited because I really love how this layout turn, um, turned out and it was totally inspired by the Flourish paper. So as it's known in my channel, if you follow me, I usually start my projects with no inspiration. So I decided that I wanted to pick a paper just to be inspired. So I went through the papers and I stopped at the Flourish paper and I love florals. If you know me, then you guys know that I love florals. But I love the color combination of the b-side of the paper it has teal with these peachy pink tones and I want to kind of recreate the paper in my way for my background so I'm gonna start with a foundation paper this is not prep I'm just gonna use it as this if you do not have foundation paper then please use a cardstock that you have applied yes to it just because you're gonna add quite a bit of mixed media but more than adding the mixed media is the way you're gonna apply it you're gonna need to um, strengthen your paper so to get to the peach tone or the pinkish tone that you see in the paper I'm starting with the peach or crayon and I'm just gonna scribble quite a bit of it on a piece of acetate I'm gonna dilute it with some water and one of the things you're gonna see is that when I use or when I pull my foundation paper I never take out the branding strip I like using that little piece of the paper just to try or to test the colors so it just gives me a little area where I get a true color um, yeah kind of a true color of what it's gonna go on the paper what it's gonna look like instead of just playing on the acrylic or on the piece of acetate so I added a little bit of the maroon or crayon just to get to like the more of a reddish tone didn't work so I went and pulled the fuchsia art crayon these are all from the warm set and that gave me closer to the pink kind of peachy tone that I'm looking for so again I'm just gonna keep working the color until I get to that the closest that I can to the tone once I am ready with it I am actually gonna apply it onto my um, foundation paper using a flat brush white flat brush i want to create a vertical color of um, yeah, a vertical color on my page that transitions from peach to teal which are the two colors that you see on the paper so for that i'm just gonna literally paint the page and i'm gonna go from left to right left to right creating brush strokes not loving the ends of the brush strokes i don't um just the way i'm not using lots of water because I don't want to make sure the paper doesn't buckle much so the way I'm applying it is creating um, I'm going with a semi dry brush so it's creating the bristles or the bristle marks at the end of the application so you're gonna see in a little bit how I'm gonna cover that and all that I'm gonna do to cover that is I'm gonna slant the brush a little bit and kind of just feather the edges in and that's just gonna cover all those little uh, lines that's all it's gonna take now it's gonna take quite a bit of the art like the diluted mixture just because you're applying a really thin application and I'm gonna try to apply it around half of the page now why it's gonna take um, quite a bit of our crayon is because it's such a light color that you might have to go a few times to get a deeper tone of the color so you're gonna see that I'm just keep working um, on my application I am gonna try to whatever leftover paint that I have there kind of stretch it towards the bottom half of the layout just so that I can transition between that peachy pink to the teal which are the two colors that are featured on that paper for the teal the first application I'm just gonna mix the teal or crayon with some water on top of whatever leftover uh, paint that I had and apply that just to the center of the paper right where the end of that uh, peachy application is at now you're gonna see that because I'm just going over and over instead of adding paint I'm actually taking it away so I'm gonna set it aside for a little bit and just continue applying the teal towards the bottom but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix it even though it's gonna be covered it still kind of annoys me so um, you know I'm just gonna keep up applying the teal at the bottom you're gonna see how light of an application it is you're gonna see how I'm gonna fix the edges just because those bristles are annoying me the bristle marks so I'm just gonna make it thicker so I don't have those little thin lines and after that I, you're gonna see that I keep 
trying to get to the color in the middle and like you're gonna see instead of adding color i'm taking it away so my the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna add some splatters and set it aside and leave it to dry for a little bit before i continue just taking away paint and peeling the paper so i'm gonna set it aside to dry and what i'm gonna do to fix it i'm gonna show you it's actually pretty simple and you can create and it's actually gonna help you if you want to create you don't want to cover that half so you're gonna see how the middle you have that defined line that divides the two colors in kind of a white space so i'm gonna start by creating the peachy tone I'm gonna again mix a little bit of the peach with the fuchsia I'm gonna add some water dilute it and then I'm lightly gonna paint it but instead of going with my brush pointing to the paper I'm gonna slant it so the the round brush I'm using a round brush it kind of goes um, creating the same uh, effect as the flat brush and what I'm doing is because the brushes are not um, I'm not using the tips of the bristles. I'm not taking away the paint. Instead, I'm using the side of the bristle. It's just gonna apply them. Kind of think of it using a palette knife, just kind of gliding on the paper. So I'm not taking away the paint. Instead, I'm adding the paint. So that's just already gonna see how I already covered that white area that I had taken in the middle. And then after that, I'm just gonna add some splatters. I'm gonna make sure that I add splatters on the peach area and also I'm going to stretch them towards the teal area now that I have applied the peach I'm going to clean my brushes let that sit for a little bit and I'm going to come back with the teal same deal I'm just going to scribble the crayon dilute it with water I'm going to bring my um, tea, uh, my teal brush my brown brush and you're going to see that I am not again I'm going to start applying the color and kind of darkening a bit of the teal I'm going to pick up the color. I am not going to use the tip of my brush. Instead, I'm going to slant my brush so that I use the bristles of the brush, the side of the bristles. Again, think of it as a palette knife or a butter knife. So I'm just kind of gliding the paint instead of creating those harsh lines. So you're going to see that you get a really thin application. You kind of hide those lines. And I was able to cover the center and give it more of a transition color without having that white uh, kind of space. You still have that line, but it's not as defined as it used to be before. Again, just to finish a few splatters, I'm gonna set it aside to dry. And while it was drying, I keep looking and thinking, I don't like it um, with the green pointing down. I actually want the teal pointing up. So I'm rotating my paper uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise and I'm gonna continue working, build it on my background. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of the stamps and I got this from Vicky Shop. This is the Bow Bunny, um, what's the name of this stamp? botanical journey and it's the one that has those beautiful flowers and i'm going to use two color inks i'm using archival ink i'm using shadow gray and watering can i just want to create a ghost impression of the stamp on the background so you're going to see that my table has a little where i have set up my little light and my camera there's a not a crack but it's a foldable table so i have a, the little um seam in the middle so sometimes when i stamp i don't get a clean stamp and i forgot to put foam underneath but i'm okay with that because i'm actually gonna cover the the white spaces that i couldn't you know fill with the stamp i'm actually gonna cover them with another stamp so let me just continue uh, start working on the florals and you're gonna see that how i form a little triangle at the top and i'm also gonna create a triangle at the bottom so think about it when i stamp my florals i'm creating a zigzag once i have my florals ready i'm gonna come in with one of the sentiments from the wonderful stamp this is the stamp that comes in the storyteller collection and I'm going to use again these are the two colors of archival ink one is shadow gray and the other one is watering can and all I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the sentiment think of it you know how sometimes you use the script sentiment to just create that ghost impression I'm going to do the same by using that sentiment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it with the ink one time and whatever leftover ink is there on the stamp I'm just going to create a second generation and then I'm going to continue stamping I'm going to stamp on top of the flowers. I'm going to take advantage of those empty spaces that the, the flower stamp, you know, left behind 
to add my little lines with journal and in kind of a way it looks like um script at the back with the floral uh, in the background so i'm just layering stamping and by having the second generation stamping it's just creating the shadow effect and kind of mixing with the florals this is one of my favorite things to do i love to layer mixed media in a fun way i don't like being messy i love being messy i like being clean i like being messy with my mixed media this is just fun for me and i'm still gonna add more mixed media to this don't worry we're gonna keep adding more mixed media now once i add in my florals i realized that i know where my title is gonna go my title is gonna go in the middle of the right hand edge of my page so i need to bring some more of the mixed media onto that side of the paper so i'm gonna follow the same steps that i did to create the background so i scribble with some uh teal our crayon on a piece of acrylic dilute it i'm gonna apply it to that area i'm gonna come in with the combination of peach and the fuchsia art crayon again scribble on a piece of acrylic dilute it and i'm not gonna be as formal as before like using my uh, my flat brush it's gonna create a little application of color i'm gonna make sure in this one again this is a personal choice i'm gonna add splatters so that the two sides kind of uh, join together through the splatters after that i'm gonna repeat the stamping i'm gonna stamp the floral image from the bow bunny botanical journey um and then i'm actually gonna bring also the um, sentiment it says thankful for you using uh the inks this is shadow gray and watering can these are archival inks just because i want to make sure that it's completely set when i add keep adding my mixed media so for my next application of mixed media i've pulled out a little bit of rose gold i'm just gonna set it aside i'm gonna use it after but what i'm gonna use to apply or create texture on my page is a little bit of iridescent glaze mixed with molding paste so the iridescent glaze has like kind of a silvery um finish and the molding plate and molding paste is completely matte when you mix them together you get this satiny color which i love and it lighten up the iridescent glaze so i'm gonna you're gonna see that i'm mixing it right now my molding paste is drying up so um it can, it worked it dried really fast actually so it worked perfect for this layer so i'm gonna mix them and you're gonna see how the gray of the iridescent glaze disappears and the whiteness of the molding paste doesn't go mad it has a little sh like kind of sheen to it so i am bringing this stencil you can find it in Vicky's shop this is the poinsettia the geometric poinsettia that she created for the um, christmas kits and all i'm going to do is just apply some of the mixture using my stencil brush i'm going on a circular motion and every so often i'm going to stipple and um, also some of the mixture on top of the application and that just adds to the texture and i'm just going to apply it again i'm going to zigzag the application i don't mind covering some of the florals it is going to bring texture it's going to be a subtle texture and i love how this turned out you might not see it through the camera but if you see it up close it just has this soft texture and if you see the paper the paper has these little lines of white with the white dots and i wanted to bring that onto the page like i said this is my inspire. i was inspired by the flourish paper this is what um the idea that i brought out of it onto my page now here's where i'm gonna use the rose gold glaze i'm just gonna dilute it and i'm gonna use it to add splatters onto my page the, if you see the paper i don't know if you can see there's a little bit of distress that has that yellowish tone instead of using that yellowish tone i'm actually gonna add pink just because the pink of the florals is a little bit richer so for me to get to that tone instead of adding bringing or kind of creating the distress i'm gonna bring some rose gold just to get closer to the pink of the flowers once that's done i'm gonna set that aside to dry and i'm gonna start working on the layers for the pictures and the pictures i'm gonna document are probably some of my favorite pictures as you may know if you follow me uh, we have a dog and our dog is our baby and the reason we got the dog it was for my daughter she wanted a dog now he became our baby so they're very close my daughter and our baby are super close so i'm actually pulled two pictures of them 
maybe these are probably five years ago so all I'm doing is just backing the pictures with papers that have that peachy tone so I use the B side of the memoir paper and also the B side of the mariposa paper then I'm gonna cut a piece of paper from the flourish just to bring you know that paper that inspired the whole thing I cut one of the um, library cards from the flurry uh, not flourish paper so it's the first draft you know the one with the book the b side has the library papers those black floral uh, edge that you see at the bottom that's from the tag book and also that green are uh, ticking i'm not a fan of mini books not that type of tag box so instead i'm going to use them as layers the big pink flower, uh, floral comes from the ephemera pack I'm also gonna bring the small floral that comes from the sticker tablet I'm gonna cut the bottom part I added just a few embellishments I'm gonna bring some black accents just because I have the black and white picture so I'm gonna bring some accents I brought that little beautiful day it actually comes from the ephemera pack and is um has a little bit of gold uh, my title is gonna read here and now and again that's from the sticker tablet i am also gonna pull the little sentiment that says you and me from the sticker tablet and then i'm gonna just for now i'm gonna put it at the bottom of the title but it's gonna sit on the final place it's gonna be at the top left corner of the um, library card outside of the camera i cut around three more of the florals just because i'm gonna cluster them around the pictures all i'm doing right now is just assembling everything i'm adding some foam adhesive behind the pictures um, so that i can have a little bit of height and after that all i'm gonna do is just glue everything in place i am gonna add little pieces of foam adhesive just to create some layer like some layering effects and but i mean i like that um but i mean with that sorry is that i'm just some areas for example on the library cars and on the tickets i'm just gonna add the foam adhesive to the corners so it gives the idea that there's um you know that little lift creates shadow which adds levels which adds dimension to the page and that's pretty much it this layer was super fun to put together um you're gonna see just how i'm gonna make sure that everything sits in place one of the things that i had to make sure to create on this layout was to balance that really large floral and that's what i'm using that large library card and i decided that my title was gonna sit on the right just kind of balances everything together um and that's one of the reasons why i had to go cut more florals outside of the camera just because when i put the big floral on the left of the pictures i need to bring something kind of in the same heft is that the word you can use on the right of the layout just to balance it properly so you're gonna see that i brought that small floral at the top that just kind of balances together doesn't make it bottom heavy and then you don't see it here but you're gonna see it in the final uh, shot that i added two florals underneath the bottom right corner of the pictures that just kind of balances everything together my lines of journal are gonna go at the bottom right corner of the two pictures there's that empty space there that's where i'm gonna add my lines with journal and then the last thing that i'm gonna add is the puffy stickers you know the ones that have um just the outline of the heart i because i am adding some foam adhesive behind the title when i put it together it actually looked like a clip and i loved it and um all i'm doing right now is just adding a piece of twine just to create um you know around the tag and that's about it just a few more details i'm bringing one of the washi tape um stickers from the tablet that says today i'm just gonna add it at the top part of the picture just because there's quite a bit of teal so i'm gonna bring a little bit of pink there and then i'm just gonna add my lens of journal outside of the camera and those two more florals just like i said to balance the layout and that's about it i love what this turned out i love the color combination i love the florals i love the background just love it it was such a fun layout to put together took quite some time I'm not gonna lie just because I make sure that everything dried in between but I love love how this turned out the texture you're gonna see it right now is subtle you don't see much but it's there and it's just beautiful and I hope you tried as always if you have any questions do not hesitate to contact me I would love to give you a hand as um, remember to check the blog for more details and as always thank you so much for joining me
take care guys